2K Emphasis provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Emphasis – How we are different from our competitors. 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Emphasis has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kemphasis.com. Before you can go for framework, only framework. So, uh, yeah, I'll wait for questions. Give me a couple of minutes. Uh, so, copy this, copy this version 4.0. And whatever you copied, you need to paste it after the semicolon here in the in this. So right click on this, you need to paste it and then click on semicolon. Okay. So so I repeat again, I repeat again, go to this folder version 4.0. I'll be repeating this because this is very important step. Go to this folder C colon Windows Microsoft.NET Framework version 4.0. Copy this path. Copy this path and then and then paste it here after adding a semicolon with already existing one do not remove anything just add just click on just click on path click on edit add a semicolon at the last at the end and after the semicolon whatever you have copied the path paste it and then put a semicolon again so all of you done with this step click on ok and click on ok click on ok and close the parent window so done with this step if you are done please tell me if it, it's done okay I see one response like it's done so how about others are you done with this step okay waiting for others uh, I didn't get response from Jesse yeah okay so now what you need to do is now go to command prompt uh, so for those who are not done uh, don't worry yeah you need to uh, after you paste it it's optional to keep the semicolon uh, but before pasting it you have to keep semicolon and after semicolon you have to paste the path which you copied okay so now go to command prompt windows r cmd and then type csc close your uh, already existing command prompt close your command prompt and now type csc and for those who don't have uh, who don't have uh, advanced system settings what they need to do is they need to paste uh, they need to do this so how about other uh, please tell me those who s those who are done this step when you type csc are you able to see like this are you able to see previously you are getting uh, not recognized command so now what you are seeing yeah no input specified so are you getting this line when you type csc are you getting this line saying like visual c sharp compiler version 4.0 so this is what previously you would have seen like uh, you would have seen like uh, not recognized command so now you are able to uh, you are able to see so for sonal alone who is uh, okay so okay okay great so now uh, f for those who are not able to see this okay good so anyone who is uh, for whom still you are getting not recognized command can you please ping me who is getting not recognized command when you type csc please ping me if anyone is getting not recognized command when you type csc okay so I see one student who just joined uh, who just joined the, uh, uh, no problem uh, for those who have missed today's class uh, okay so just a second one student has just joined Okay, so okay, so just for a change, uh, what I'll do now is I'll uh, 
I'll make one of you as presenter. Can you please explain what we have done? Uh, for those who missed it, um, okay, let me explain. I uh, will not do it now. So, uh, for those who missed it, uh, I'm going to explain again in, in, in a minute. So, all you need to do is, uh, you need to verify in C colon Windows Microsoft.NET Framework version 4.2 folder. So, go to this folder, copy this path, right click on this, copy this path. Once you copy this, all you need to do is, copy this path, I repeat again. So, C colon Windows Microsoft.NET Framework version 4.2. So pro uh, from tomorrow, please be on time uh, for the class so that uh, I'll not uh, spend time for repeating. Uh, okay. So copy this path, and what you need to do is go to Start, right-click on My Computer, Properties, and Advanced System Settings. Go to Advanced System Settings. Uh, right-click on My Computer Properties. Click on Advanced System Settings. Click on Environment Variables, and go to the. Uh, variable called path click on edit add a semicolon at the end add a semicolon at the end and then paste it paste the path which you copied click on ok click on ok so once you do that so once you do that for those who are not done uh, don't worry you can uh, for today's class uh, you might uh, you will get the recording so so now so now after adding that when I type CSC it will it, it will be recognized so now what we will do is uh, we will try to write a simple C sharp program so we'll, we'll, we'll just get started with a simple C sharp program so now Windows R I'm opening notepad so please listen uh, even Windows 7 uh, yeah Windows 7 users also should be able to do it I'll tell you in a minute uh, so for those who are not able to see for those who are not able to see the advanced system settings please uh, I'll, I'll just explain it again I'll just uh, tell the solution okay so now I'm going to write a simple C sharp program so using system remember C sharp is case sensitive C sharp is case sensitive so using system and I'm going to write a simple very simple C sharp program so class hello and then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to type here public static void main remember in C sharp in C sharp M is okay okay so in C sharp uh, in C sharp M is capital letter okay so now what you need to do is so s for those who just joined uh, who missed the previous half an hour session no problem uh, you can focus from now uh, so now sorry so now I'm writing public static void main don't worry uh, what is public what is static what is void and what, it, what is what main I'll explain this later so I'm just writing you a simple C structure of C sharp program so using system class hello public static void main and to print here in C sharp we have to use console dot console dot write line okay so so let me font let me reduce the font size so that uh, I can write it in the single line I don't need to go do it in multiple lines so where is this uh, where is this flower brackets um, in which on which button we have can someone tell me where do we have this flower brackets so we have adjacent to P letter P adjacent to letter P on the keyboard you see this flower brackets okay so now okay so now uh, console dot right line and console dot right line I'm adding this bracket and all I need to do is I need to write hello world so for those who know C language so how many of you know uh, how many of you can recollect your C programming H or how many of you know C programming you can ping me in the chat window so how many of you know C programming okay I got one response uh, how many of you know C programming normal C programming 
okay so i got a uh, couple of responses okay so now let's try to recollect uh, no problem so even if you don't know anything about programming that's uh, that's fine so so now what i'll be doing is i'll write a simple c program and then we'll compare that with uh, c sharp program so include include stdio.h void main and then and then we have something called here printf hello world okay so this is the simple structure of c sharp program and c sharp is not object oriented it is structured programming language so we will not be having i mean uh, in c language uh, c language is not object oriented programming c sharp is object oriented programming language so the code which i have written here at the below this is actually c programming and we will not see anything like class objects anything like that in c language so this is a header file so why do i need to include this header file because my method printf the method printf is actually present inside this header file so that is the reason why i need to include uh, include stdio.h because printf method is actually present inside this header file stdio.h so what is this printf hello world hello world will do this will print hello world on the on the console window so similarly similarly similar to this c program we have uh, i have written c sharp program here so this is a c sharp program so this first line is called uh, using system is something similar to include stdio.h so there in c language we call it as header file we call it as header file in c sharp we call this as namespace so we call this as namespace so i'll type this so so this is a namespace system is a namespace so we don't call here as header files or packages in in java we call it as package here here in c sharp we call it as namespace we call this as namespace so system is a namespace which is which is having which is having console class so console is a class which is actually present inside system namespace and that is the reason why i have to write using system because i'm using console class inside console class i have a method called write line write line is a method which is present inside console class so so i have to write console dot write line So now, if someone asks you why I need to write this using system, because cons. So, so yeah. So if someone asks you why do you need to include, why do you need to write this using system? Because, uh, because your console is a class which is present inside the system namespace. So what is a namespace? Namespace is collection of classes. or it can be even collection of namespaces okay so if someone asks you again i'm repeating again so this is a simple structure of c sharp program so using system uh, you need to include this because console is a class which is actually con so uh, if you are not speaking uh, please keep uh, yourself on mute okay so system is a namespace which is present inside console class and write line is a method which is present sorry system is a namespace which contains console class system is a namespace which contains console class so in order to use console class you have to include using system okay so where from where do we get the system so if you again go back to your dot net folder so so which is which is v4.0 uh, version 4.0 if you again go back to this folder you will be able to see system so can all of you verify whether you have uh, you have system.dll or system in your version 4.0 so the easiest way to find is uh, start using type and then go to uh, verify whether you have system so go go to this so i have uh, i have it here system dot dll i have it here yeah system dot dll right 
so so this is the one which i am using here so when you install dotnet framework these are all so this system dot dll is the one which comes with dotnet framework so that is having your method that is having your class console class which is having write line method to print on the to print on it so these are all whatever you see here all the dlls or or the files which you can refer which comes with dotnet framework okay so there are so many files see here i have so many dlls these are all reusable components which you can use for your programming which comes with dotnet framework okay so so all of you able to see the system dot dll inside version 4.0 folder yeah that's great i see only one response all of you able to see this system dot dll inside your version 4.0 okay so these are all these are all namespaces system dot drawing so imagine imagine you want to you want to do some drawings so you have to you have to write uh, you have to write using system dot drawing so 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 depending on your requirement so for example i want to do some uh, file operations i want to read a file i want to write into a file so in that case i have to include system dot io so system dot io is for input output operations okay so imagine if i want to do anything related to net uh, like sending an email or writing any email component or something i have to include system dot net using system dot net uh no no we for this program so one of the question from that and like do we need to have only one namespace it's not required not necessarily you can have multiple namespaces here so as i said if i want to do any file operations i need to include using system.io like this uh, if i want to read a file write into a file i need to include this so depending on when on my requirement i have to write this namespace here okay so for now why i am using this system is because i want to use this console class which is actually present inside system okay so all these files whatever you see here all these dlls whatever you see here constitute your framework class library constitute your dotnet framework library so all these files whatever you see here inside this uh, uh, framework version so you see system dot threading or uh, you see system dot web if you want to work on web application so all these things system dot windows for windows applications so all these things are called dot net framework library dot net framework library so library is something like which can be reused currently we are using system system namespace can can some of you ping me any other namespace uh, which you are seeing inside this folder any namespace other than system other than system dot dll any namespace uh, can you ping me system dot web it's not v right uh, i got one response system dot web system dot io dot dll system dot service model which is used very good system dot service model uh, so system dot xml i don't think it's a dll so let's say someone ping system dot xml uh yeah we have system dot xml dot dll right system dot io uh, system dot runtime so these are all uh, these are all called as dot net framework library dot net framework library okay so now can someone tell me what is a namespace uh, can you ping what is a namespace what is a namespace yes i got one response a uh, collection of classes i also told a namespace is also collection of classes as well as or collection of namespaces okay so console is present in which namespace console is present in which namespace yeah console is a class which is present in system namespace system namespace okay so whenever you are typing ensure that um, c sharp is case sensitive so you need to type like sysdm system so you need to respond um, saying like it is yes uh, one of the question i got uh, saying like system.net.http.dll yes that is also a, that is also a namespace okay all the dlls which are present here are namespaces only dlls only dlls 
okay okay so one more thing uh, what does dll stands for can someone tell me what does dll stands for you are seeing lot of dll files so uh, yeah static alternator what is static uh, see now don't worry about public static uh, i will tell later so dll you you are seeing lot of uh, lot of dlls here so dll stands for dynamic link library dll stands for dynamic link library okay so these are all dlls now question another question console is a class which is present in system namespace so that is the reason why i am including this here now right line is a method right line is a method which is present inside console so so now we are done with the program so this is the normal syntax so i'll remove this so i'll make one of you as presenter so can someone type this in the notepad who will, who wants to take take this up i'll make yourself as presenter i just want someone to type this in the notepad i'll give 5 minutes time who wants to take this up okay sanjay you want to take take this up okay so okay so i am making one of you as presenter just to see that uh, so we'll see the we'll see the mistakes and we'll try to correct it so i'm making uh, one of the attendee as a um, uh, presenter so right click on this uh, i'm making saroja as presenter is it fine uh, shall i make you as presenter who wants to take this up i just want uh, the same code to be typed okay okay so i'm making you as presenter so just to make the class interactive uh, i made her so all you need to do is uh, you need to share your screen share my desktop and then you need to open you need to open the notepad so so one of the student uh, is going to type it in the notepad so so you need to share your desktop before starting yeah so i guess um, i guess all the at so yeah we are still not able to see the desktop how about others are you able to see the desktop of uh, of saroja yeah now we are able to see it yeah thank you so so how about other students uh, please ping me uh, if you are able to see the desktop okay great so like this will uh, i'll make so the first line we see some mistake what is a mistake i told already c sharp is case sensitive yeah system system using system s y s t e m okay great and then what we need to do using system very good class uh, sample perfect okay and you need to write flower brackets and then we need to write public stat um okay uh, we need to write public static void main don't worry if you are not getting what is static what is void what is public now uh okay so anyone sees any any mistake no need of args you can remove that args args is optional i'll tell later what is args so anything mistake in this line yeah i see some responses uh, there is mistake in this line so no public p is small letter but uh, i told for main for main m is capital but in other programming languages like java c language m is small letter okay so now again uh, there is one small mistake console c is capital okay very good very good and inside right line we need to write uh, we need to write hello world yeah so so like this um, hello world 
okay very good so now uh, there are s very minor mistakes here okay first thing let's try to understand uh, let me explain so using system yes is capital we are using the system because uh, you have to use your console class so console class is present inside your system so you have to write that using system okay good so now one more thing which you should keep it in mind so normally all the class names we will give first letter as capital that is a naming standard so so if you see here class sample which is our class we can give even though you can give small letter it will not to any other but here we follow some standards so we'll write s as capital okay well and good now after that we wrote public static void main very good and m is capital and the static void public all are small letters that's correct console c is capital and right line one of the student uh, is correcting it uh, so right line w is capital and l is also capital okay so this is how we normally very good uh, thank you very much uh, thanks for uh, writing this code uh, so let me take the pr uh, uh, presenter role okay so now uh, let me share my desktop so now that we are done with the code uh, we are done with this program so now let's try to compile this so so what i'll do now i'll save it so i'll go to my computer i'll save it somewhere i'll save it in d drive inside d drive i'll create a right click new folder i'm creating a folder called h2k sorry okay now inside this folder i'll try to save it so what what i'll do is file save as i'll go to my computer i'll go to my computer d drive inside h2k i will save this as all files i'll select all files and then give one dot cs okay so i save this file as one dot cs so can someone tell me uh, unmute yourself and tell me uh, what i should do if i don't see this extension so if you want to see the extension okay i'll tell myself uh, no need uh, so so what you need to do here is what you need to do here is you need to go to organize sometimes you might not see the extension so if you want to see the extension what you need to do is go to organize click on click on folder and search options folder and search options and then click on view and then uncheck this option uncheck this option hide extensions for known file types when you uncheck this option you will be able to see the extensions okay you will be able to see the extensions sometimes what happens right people students what they will do normally is uh, for them this options would have been checked so i i get lot of questions yeah uh, yeah sometimes you even you will not have the organize option so so sometimes what happen is students will create see now i'll create a text document new text document i'll create uh, 2.cs so even though i change this to .cs this is actually not cs not .cs file if you see the properties if you see the properties this is actually a text file the name of this file is 2.cs.txt so in that case if you want to change the extension of this what you need to do is you need to open this file save as you need to select all files and then you need to give this in double quotes or this is one way to do it anyway so so now i created 2.cs okay so so now if you want to see the extensions uh, see here i am not seeing the extension for text file see now right click on this new text document i am not seeing the extension what is the extension for for text file it is .txt so what i need to do if i want to see the extension click on organize uh, folder and search options click on view uncheck this option hide the extensions for known file types apply okay now i can see that this is a text file previously i was seeing only 2.cs but now i am seeing 2.cs.txt okay um, anyway that's okay uh, 